Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. I'm your girl, Jaleesa Chavez. And in today's video, I will be showing you how I went from this to this in the matter of minutes. <laughs> so if you are interested on how I created this holiday Thanksgiving look, keep on watching and thank you so much for coming to watch. Also, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos. First things first, we are definitely going to slay these brows because they need some slaying right now. <laughs> I got this eyebrow pencil from the dollar store and I think I like it more than my Morphe pencil. It gives off a really natural texture and I really love the Morphe pencil, but this one to be $6 cheaper, uh-uh. <laughs> To clean up my brows, I'm gonna go into Juvia's Place Concealer in the number 10. And this is my first time using this concealer. And I'm so excited. I already love the packaging so much. It's almost like kids when they have like toys, like that's how I feel when I'm holding this package. Like I'm holding a toy and I'm a kid again because it's just so like big and round. And I just, it just brings back like good vibes as being a child. That's how I feel about makeup now. Like when I get makeup, I'm like a little kid that just got a toy for Christmas. <laughs> so I'm applying it on the lid and then I'm kind of carving out my brow. I'm also applying it on the inner corner and the outer corner of my eyes so that I won't leave any spaces. After I sharpen the brows, I then blend out the concealer on the lid. Remember, however your base is, is exactly how your eyeshadow is going to blend. So you want to make sure it's all blended out and evenly distributed all over the lid. I like this concealer though, it's a really nice coverage. So that's blended out, we're going to move on to shadow now. I'll be using my Morphe Hey Girl Hey palette. Also be using my Morphe Artistry palette. This is the uh, number 39S. And I love, love, love this palette. It's so pretty. Unfortunately, these don't have the names on them, but I will post in the description box the order that I use them in because I have the names on my computer. To blend this out, I'll be using my Morphe R40 brush. So now I'm going with my first transition shade after setting the lid. All right, now I'm moving along to the second shade. It's like this really deep, brick color. I absolutely love this color. It's my favorite color out of the palette. And I'm going to push this in the outer corner. Also going to apply it in the inner corner. Now that the inner corner and outer corner is filled, we are going to move on to the center of the lid. I really want to build this transition. So I'm going to move on to a darker color out of the palette. And I'm going to take a MAC 219 brush. And I'm going to pack that on on the outer corner. I'm not taking it all the way up in that part because I want that transition. And I'm also gonna pack it on the inner corner. And now I'm taking the matte black shade from this palette and I'm applying it right on the outer edges of the inside and the outside. So I want it to be like dark to light. After I apply that, I go in with a clean blending brush and I just blend out the outer edge part. I really like how that looks. It's a really nice transition. You can see all of the colors. And now I'm gonna go in with the P. Louise base in the number two. I'm gonna go in with this really nice flat brush to apply this. Get like a pea size and I'm going to take it smack down the center. You wanna make sure you're looking straight ahead into a mirror so that it's straight and down the middle. And then after you apply it, you kind of want to just do it a nice blend. You want to take your time with this part because you don't want to make the spotlight too big. We're going to move on to the James Charles Artistry Palette. So I'm going to go in with Bling Thing and a small blending brush. I'm just going to push this into the center. want to take your time once again with this part because this is a shimmer you don't want it to be on top of the matte shadows and that's all I needed that palette for I'm using this artist couture loose highlighting powder in sugar daddy the same brush and I'm just pushing the powder in look at that pigment so pretty 
I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush and just blend out the edges together so the spotlight kind of melts into the outer corner. You can go with a little bit more shadow if you need it. Now to really deepen the eye and give it like a really nice shape and dome type of effect, I'm gonna go in with the smudge brush, a very detailed smudge brush. And I'm going to go in with Garnet Glam for my Morphe Artistry palette and this smudge brush. And I'm going to start from the outer corner and work my way into the inner corner below my natural crease. This is really gonna give my eyeball a shape and it's gonna give my crease a depth that just like makes my eyes pop. Basically, I'm taking it right along the top edge of the spotlight and connecting it to the inner and outer corner of my eye. I can feel like the balls of my eye, I'm pushing it right into there. You can even go back in with a little bit more of that highlighter. Top of the lid is done. I'm going to move on to liner. I'll be using my favorite liner, the e.l.f. liquid liner. And I don't want to do a cat eye with this look, but I do want a nice thick liner. I'm just not going to wing it out. Time to pop on my lashes from my lash line, Shady Lashes. This is the style Jaleesa. I love like lashes that look like they could be individuals. So that's what I was going for on this style. It's the perfect style for like hooded lids, small eyelids, whatever you have, this style will look great on you. Y'all know I usually use tweezers, but my lashes hug the eyes so good. You don't even need tweezers. Just kind of take my brush up under there and kind of do like a vibrating motion. Okay, moving right along to the face, we are going to jump right in with some moisturizer. I'll be going in with the Murad Pore Rescue Moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer. It gives you such a natural glow. Like, oh, it's so good. It also has SPF 30 in it, which is very, very important, ladies. Alrighty, for primer, I'll be going in with the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. So I just go with the pea size of this and apply it right under the eye. And I also love applying my primer now with a brush. After primer, I'm going to color correct with the Juvia's Place concealer that we use on the lid. And I'm going to apply this anywhere I have darkness. Foundation, I'm going with the Juvia's Place Foundation Stick in Maratiana or Maratania, Maratania. I don't know, I know I effed that up, but um, <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one. Ooh, nice coverage. I'm going to apply right on the cheek area. I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques Beauty Body Sponge. I'm gonna show you the comparison between a regular sponge and the Real Technique sponge. This is the comparison. <laughs> it's so big. And it gets like half of your face done in half the time. Alrighty, for highlighting today, I'm gonna go with the Kylie Jenner Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Peanut. To contour, I'll be going with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Dark Cafe 1. And I'm using an angled fluffy brush to blend this out so that it hugs the cheek and it keeps that concealer exactly where I need it. And I'm gonna take a smaller angled brush to blend out the nose contour. You don't wanna blend out your nose contour with a big fluffy brush. You want something very detailed that's gonna help you get that sharpness and that nice, clean nose contour. You want to blend one more time before you set with powder. I'm actually gonna go in a little brighter under the eye. I'll be using my Morphe concealer in C355. The Kylie one is not all that to me. Like Morphe has stole my heart with their concealers. All right, now we're going to set the under eye. I'm going back in with the Makeup Revolution Banana Deep Powder and my Wet Beauty Blender. And to really get that nice, smooth under eye, you wanna set it first. So I'm just applying the powder and then I'm actually pushing the powder in. After you set it, you go back in with your second layer to bake. 
don't want to bake right away because that will cause splashback because all of that powder is just sitting on your face you haven't really set it while you're baking you can go ahead and bronze and contour your face go with a nice fluffy brush I'm gonna use the sculpt shade first to really define my contour now for blush, I'm gonna go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kit. I'm going to mix the shades Chocolate and Blackberry for blush. I also like to take a little bit of that blush and kind of just sweep it on the tip of my nose to balance it out. And then I go back in with my Beauty Blender and I push my bacon. At this point, I like to go ahead and set my face. I'll be using the Milani Make It Last Matte Finishing Spray. While I let it dry, go ahead and do my bottom waterline with just your favorite black auto liner. I'm gonna go back into my Morphe Hey Girl Hey palette and use that red brick shade that we used on the lid. I'm going to smoke out my bottom lash line. I'm gonna go back into the Artist Couture Loose Highlighting Power Powder. And my face is kinda like 95% dry. This is when I like to do this step. And after I apply it, I just go back in with my Wet Beauty Blender and melt it into the skin. So I'm going to line my lips with the Collab Matte Addiction Lipstick in Gone Rogue. And I love using a lipstick for liner now because it just lasts so much longer. And the applicator on this makes it so easy to line your lips. Then I'm going to apply Non-Stop by Collab on the center of the lips. And I'm going to top this off with the Gloss Balm Fenty Beauty in Diamond Milk. I do just the last set with the Rose Water by Grace and Stella. And this just really melts everything down and makes your skin look amazing. Alrighty guys, this is the finished look. I am super in love with that highlighter. It just melts into the skin so good. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this makeup tutorial. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I have some really good videos coming up for you guys. And I also have an amazing, like really big giveaway coming up in January. So make sure you stay tuned for that. You want to make sure you have your bell notifications on so that you won't miss out on your chance to win a box full of beauty products. Thank you guys once again for coming to watch and I hope to see you in my next video. Happy holidays.